measurements, unit conversions, and conversion factors. The basic types of measurement are Length, which measures distance between objects, volume, which measures the amount of space something takes up, and mass, which measures the amount of matter in an object. In the international system of measurements, the basic units are For the length it's the meter, the mass uses the gram, for volume of liquids it's the liter, then the temperature uses Celsius. Here is a comparison between the English and SI measurement system. All measurement systems have standards, standards are exact quantities that everyone agrees to use as a basis of comparison. The SI system uses the following prefixes. Also, this system works with any SI measurement. Thus, the unit becomes whichever type of measurement you are making mass, volume, or length. If you are using mass, it can be centigram or milligram. For length, it can be kilometer, or decameter. For volume, it can be deciliter, or milliliter. The first part of the term indicates the amount. The second part indicates the type of measurement. Measurements always need a number, and a unit. Conversion factors, are fractions in which the numerator, and denominator, are equal quantities, expressed in different units. Thus, these fractions are always equal to 1. Thus, when we convert units, we use the conversion factors. Also, these conversion factors, are relationships between units, that we know to be true. Some examples are, 1 minute equals 60 seconds, 12 inches equals 1 foot, 24 hours equals 1 day. For example, 1 foot is equal to 12 inches. The conversion factors can be, 1 foot over 12 inches, or 12 inches over 1 foot. Let's say we want to convert, from feet to inches. In this instance, we will use the conversion factor, 12 inches is to 1 foot. This ensures that the given unit, will cancel with the bottom unit, of the conversion factor. And the unit that remains, is our desired unit. Therefore, the steps in converting units are, first, write the number, with units, that you want to convert. Then, multiply it by a conversion factor written as a fraction. Next, make sure the old units cancel. Lastly, multiply all the numbers on the top, and divide by the numbers on the bottom. Let's try this. How many centimeters are in 1.32 meters? In this case, our equality would be 1 meter equals 100 centimeters. The applicable conversion factors are, 1 meter to 100 centimeter, and 100 centimeter to 1 meter. Now we can choose between the two conversion factors. We use the idea of unit cancellation, 
To decide upon which one of the two conversion factors we choose, in here, it allows us to cancel both units of meter, and we are left with our desired unit, the centimeter. Let's try this, how many meters is 8.72 centimeters? Our equality would be 1 meter equals 100 centimeters, these will be our choice of conversion factors. Since the given is in centimeters, we will choose the factor with the centimeters at the bottom. Again, the units must cancel. Thus, we get our unit in meters. How many feet is 39.37 inches? In this case, our equality would be 1 foot equals 12 inches. And these are the conversion factors. Since the given measurement is in inches, we will choose the factor with the inches at the bottom. Again, the units must cancel. Thus, we get our desired unit in feet. How many kilometers is 15,000 decimeters? In this instance we can use the conversion factors 1 meter to 10 decimeter and 1 kilometer to 1,000 meter. This allows us to cancel the units of decimeter and then the meter, giving us our desired unit in kilometers. Now we are left with our desired unit, the kilometer. And to solve, we have 15,000, divided by 10, then divided by 1,000, which results to 1.5 kilometers. How many seconds is 4.38 days? In this case we will use the conversion factors. 24 hours to 1 day. 60 minutes to 1 hour. And 60 seconds to 1 minute. Notice that we can cancel the units of days, the units of hours, and the units of minutes, leaving for us our desired unit of seconds. To solve, we have 4.38 days times 24 times 60, then times 60 which results to 378,432 seconds or 3.78 times 10 to the 5 seconds in significant figures. To convert units within the metric system, write the prefixes in order, from largest to smallest. To convert from a smaller unit to a larger unit, move decimal point to the left. To convert from a larger unit to a smaller unit, Move decimal point to the right. Let's try this. Convert 1600 centimeters to meters. Move the decimal point to the left twice. Answer is 16.00 meters. Another one. Convert 2 kiloliters to liters. Move the decimal point to the right three times. Answer is 2000 liters. How about this? Convert 241 grams to milligrams. 
Move the decimal point to the right three times. Answer is 241,000 milligrams. Let's try another one. Convert 3 milliliters to liter. Move the decimal point to the left three times. Answer is 0.003 liter. When converting with English system follow this rule. If you are converting from left to right, then you multiply. However, if you convert from right to left, then you divide. Convert 130 pounds to grams. Notice from the table, it's left to right. Thus, you multiply. The answer is 59,020 grams. Convert 78 centimeters to inches. Notice from the table, it's right to left. Thus, you divide. The answer is 30.71 inches.